Welcome back to Cornwall Car Care with the Audi Collected. We're now into the next one and it's a BMW M3 E46 in carbon black. This is booked in for a single stage machine polish, kamikaze ISM for protection, wheel coating, glass coating, roof protect, engine bay, quick interior. So we've got quite a bit of work to do on this one. Um, unfortunately, it's been somewhere else before. Um, had a bit of paint work. They polished it as well. Absolutely covered in holograms. So we've got Matt from Reflect coming in for a couple of days just to knock this one out. I'll do a little video of a little walk around of all the holograms on it. But other than that, it's a really tidy vehicle. So yeah, we're going to get everything set up. Paint depth done, it's taped up. Let's get polishing. Right, so let's have a look at some of the damage on the BMW M3. And this one's in carbon black. But yeah, it's had a little bit of paintwork done and somebody's polished it while it was there. And unfortunately, this is how it came back. Lots and lots of holograms. Covering every inch of the vehicle. So yeah, we've got a work cut out on this one because I'm sure that once we remove these holograms, we're gonna find some deeper ones lurking underneath. But, oh, wow. Do have some sanding marks on the bonnet that we've got to tackle as well.
would have seen part way through that bit of footage that we actually swapped from a yellow Kartec pad and 9000 up to a microfiber cutting pad and a compound. The rest of the vehicle's coming up really well and the bonnet had sanding marks um, and just some deeper scratches all over and it would have been a shame to have the rest of it looking really nice and then the bonnet not as good. So once again, we've taken it up on ourselves, give the bonnet a quick cut and then a refine and it should match in with everything else. Cheers. Day one completed on the BMW M3. Uh, me and Matt had a really good day on this today and we've got probably 80% of all the polishing done. We've just got a few more bits to sort out. Most of it was done with Kartik 9000 as a single stage, but there were a few areas where we had to step it up to a cutting compound just to make sure that all the panels are going to end up the same rather than some worse than others. So again, we didn't mind doing that. But yeah, already... It's looking very, very impressive. Right, come back nice and early in the morning. We'll catch back later on. Sunday morning and lots of maintenance washes done this morning. So I always do them on a Sunday to try and get them out of the way. So we're now back into the BMW. I have a long list on the board. Uh, so today should consist of doing some tooth pickery work all around the outside. Thank you, Jim, for the tooth pickery and for the hat. Uh, just get everything all buttoned up, all the gaps done, wiped down, then this one's having Kamikaze Miyabi for the protection. Um, so I'm going to try and get the paint coating done, the roof treatment done, glass, and maybe the interior. And then Monday we've got the tyres, arches, exhaust, like all, the, all the smaller bits. So first things first, get my toothpicks out, get all the panel gaps sorted, um, all the little bits and pieces, get them finalised, get the coat of my Abbey on, let's get to it. Panels all wiped down, trolley is full of all my bits that I need. I'm going to go and lock the door because I don't want any more distractions today. Even though it's been a Sunday, I've had a lot of distractions. So I'm going to go and lock the door, put my headphones on and get the coating on. So this kind of shows the importance of having diffused light. 
I've got it turned down a bit at the moment, the ISO, but clearly you can't see the coat in here, but you can see it there. So that is why I have so many diffuse lights so that I can see the coating curing. It makes it very difficult without these lights to make sure you've got everything. But yeah, even on the back here, uh, will the light pick it up? Come on, where is it? I'm standing in front of it. There, so you can see the coating in the diffused light, but you can't see it without it. Or is very difficult. Right, that's almost ready to come off. Kamikaze, my Abbey, lay down. We're now onto the convertible roof. I've got my little pet hair roller. New one of these. I'm gonna get off my finger. And uh, yeah, basically just gonna go over the whole roof. Get all the lint off, just like that. And then this is going to be protected with two coats of sealant. Um, again, it's Sunday, I'm going to stay on for a little bit. I want to get both coats done tonight, so then it's fully dried, hopefully for tomorrow. Um, and then I've still got a long list of stuff to do, wheels, uh, interior, glass, arches, tyres. So still plenty, plenty more to go on this one. But yeah, it's looking like... <sighs> Stunning, here we go, I've said it again. I cannot wait for the reveal on this one. It looks, from when this came in to what it is now, it's a complete different car. Right, let's get on with this. Well, here we are at the final part of the detail. 2003 BMW M3 in carbon black. Yeah, this is how the customer should have picked it up when, he, when it was done last time. So, again, this came in to me, you would have seen earlier in the video, this was absolutely covered in holograms, swells, scratches, polished residue in all the panel gaps, it just wasn't, um, it wasn't, it wasn't how it was supposed to be. Um, that only got in contact with me after seeing some of my previous work and asked if I could rectify. And boy, did we do that. That looks unreal. So I was joined by Matt from Reflex again on this one. Um, I still can't get over how well this came out, considering oh, it wasn't a full correction detail. Um, it was basically an enhancement with some localized two stage. Yes. 
God. So this, sorry, this was finished off with Kamikaze Miyabi for the protection. Soft 99 wheel coat for the wheels. Uh, roof had two coats of protectant on it. Trim was Gion Trim. Glass was G Technic G1. But. To say I'm happy with that is an understatement. It turned out so much better than I thought it was gonna do. I think the owner is gonna be chuffed to bits for that. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right, BMW M3 completed. Let's roll some afters. <laughs>